Hey everybody, oh folks here. So I had a request for candy. Candy is one of my little favorites. I'm currently working on Silver Star in her. Uh, I chose her over Pandarus. Um, obviously, if you're not familiar, in the Hero Brawl is where you get uh, her Soul Stones. So to save up and you can get her or you can get Pandarus or you can get Gridlock. Really kind of your choice. Um, she is kind of one of the anti-healers. We'll take a look at her real quick. Her ultimate sweet boom basically drops candy explosion to the sky, deals damage in the area. It's a nice little area effect thing. You have this candy twist, which basically wraps a team member's body in candy. It gives them armor and magic resist a pretty good decent amount and also gives them a, a shield that absorbs damage for up to five seconds. It's not a ton, but it is, you know, still absorbing damage, which is always nice. Bitter Taste, now this is what she's really all about. This is the, the big thing for her. Bitter Taste, it basically hits a target and it bounces to another one of them with the lowest hit points. It absorbs health and the regen and shield effects from the target. So if you've got uh, an aerial on the other side of the team, um, this works great with her. Or if they've got a Merlin on the other side of the team, or you've got a Gerber, or you know anything along that way, basically it absorbs a health and shielding effect from them. So if not enough healing is absorbed, then it deals damage to the target. So it can absorb up to 10,000 um, health regen, and it'll do about 2.2 thousand damage. So it's really great for negating um, the healing and the shielding on the other team. Um, since it can hit two people, it's really good with like against an aerial because she can shield up to multiple people. Finally, you have a candy tree. Um, periodically, this tree grows up somewhere in the battlefield. Um, near an enemy and it explodes when it's hit with an AOE um, from from her team and so then it inflicts bitter taste on a, a nearby enemies. So what this means is she works best with AOE teams. Now obviously some would say well throw out a vortex you know um, obviously you can't always have a vortex but a Gorgana um, any really you could look through the casters here <laughs> Emily's got AE, um, Haley's got AE, Teresa's got AE, Krabby's got AE, Duffel's got AE. You can kind of see what I'm going through here. Blaine, you know, you can pick any of these guys um, and do that. Um, support wise, you know, it's maybe a little bit different unless you're hitting with a Murphy thing, but you're probably not going to run with her. Cannoneers always follow an AE, so any of these guys, you know, could do it too. Um, your Kaiser knocking back, your Jacob. So basically, you're going to want to stack a team. Um, that's going to do AE stuff. It's not good with a lot of single target people like a Yuan and like Mira or anything like that. So you're going to want to be more a AE based. She works good with the standard team. Um, she's got a couple different options for how you want to run her items. Um, support. I clicked on the wrong one because I'm having one of those days. Um, currently I've got her with the lifesteal. That is an option that you can run. Uh, your other option if you're going against a heal heavy team is to do this one which will decrease the amount of healing and regen effects which doubly stacks with her. It's really kind of up to you which one you want. One one helps her stay alive, the other doesn't. Um, so it's kind of your choice. Uh, she works good on main magic teams. So if you're running a Blaine, you're running a um, Merlin, you're running her, you're running you know, a Therese or anything like along those lines with your one tank, it works out well. You could run her on an AD team, you know, that's got um, AE when you're running something like a, um, I'm brain farting here for a second. I'm going to have to look. Uh, you could run York, who's got AE, or you could run a Ruby, not as great, but you could run a Robin, which would do well. You could run um, a Sue or a Lufia, even a Gears. Any of these guys that have those AE tags to pop it when you're fighting those things. I wouldn't stack her with the Panders because at that point you're really just kind of double dipping and it's just not worth it in my opinion. She's not going to do a ton of damage. Her job though is just to help mitigate the, the healing that is done. So when you run against teams that have healers or have shielders, that's who you use her with. Um, I've used her against teams that I've seen run an aerial and an um, aria and it's done wonders for cutting down the dam or the healing they do. When I stack both those items, so it allows me to destroy them a lot faster. I like her. She's situational. She is not somebody that I run the main with, but because you know it's it's kind of like Pandarus and Gridlock. These are all kind of situational guys. I think she's a great um, 
tool to have, especially if you have AE built teams. Share your thoughts, maybe share what you like to use her with. Um, there's no real specific team for her. You just use her when you need her to stop healing. Um, and that's about all I got. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a great day. Talk to y'all later.